I'm David Lee reporting for Hudson TV News. I'm standing here outside in Union City, New Jersey, right outside of Emerson Middle School, where we'll be celebrating this year's graduating class of young Marines. So the Young Marines started in 1959, just up the road, up in Waterbury, Connecticut. A group of Korean War veterans uh, decided that the youth in their area had a little bit of support and structure and discipline to help them be successful in life. And so since then, it has grown to 238 units in 40 states. So our program focuses on leadership development using the Marine Corps model. And Gunny Reyes is leading his team of not only Marine Corps Jero TC instructors, but there's also adult volunteers, parents, and some former Young Marines and cadets that have come back to give back to those kids in the next generation. I went through the program four years ago and now we have the opportunity to have our kids start from eight years old, not at 14, but eight now. So this is the most rewarding program I could ever work for and volunteer for. This is a wonderful program for the kids now to be joining us. Um, especially now that they're joining us for, for uh, eight years old and above. They're also, their confidence levels really help to improve them greatly. Today uh, we are having a uh, Young Marine graduation. We are graduating uh, 45 uh, Young Marine. When they first came at the beginning, they didn't know their left and the right. Now, in a, uh, in a little bit, you're going to see those kids perform, and it's going to be uh, day to night at 180. The most rewarding part of being the unit commander is seeing these kids coming over here with a uh, attitude, and then you see the turnaround, the amount of respect that they give their parents, uh, that's, that's the most rewarding. So, you know, Young Marines being the age group, it's, it's not really a recruiting program. Only about 28 to 29 percent of kids will actually consider service. Just as many kids leave this program going on to be teachers as well as first responders. Because the way the program works is the older children end up teaching the younger children, so a lot of them do get that teaching bug. It's, it's just amazing to see. I'm David Lee reporting from Union City, New Jersey.